That new PS5 uh, SKU, Mr. Black, and I, I talked about this briefly last week, and I, it might even been the week before as well, but they had the, uh, a new one coming that, um, that it wasn't an upgrade per se, but it was further changing the guts to the PS5. Um, mostly as a, a, in an effort, as far as people are concerned, to uh, select parts that are easier to get so that they can increase production to meet the demand for the PS5. And so, uh, with that, we finally got, I think it was out of Australia originally, some of the first ones were showing up there. We have a teardown, we now know what the inside of these new ones look like, and in general, the rundown of that is, uh, that it's more or less the, the motherboard is a bit smaller, the cooling solution scales with that, so it's a bit smaller, uh, and, uh, in testing, the console draws less power. I think it's like 10 or 12% more power efficient than the original unit, while still being, you know, just as powerful as, uh, as far as I know, as the original unit was. So it runs a little cooler because of the power efficiency. It, uh, it, and also allows them to scale down other components and whatnot. And hopefully, the hope is, make it easier for them to produce more PS5s because shit is still, like, nearly impossible to fucking put your hands on one without paying a scalper. Uh, of course, the, the discourse then became, well, they're clearly scaling, they've scaled back a bunch of shit, and the, they must be, you know, the material cost would, would be going down, and so it's an odd time for them to be, you know, increasing the price of the PS5s as they did a couple weeks ago, or announced a couple weeks ago. Uh, and that's true, but at the same time, we also don't know just because they change parts and the parts are smaller doesn't necessarily mean that they're cheaper. Um, I don't think, I don't necessarily think that the price increase for PS5 was necessary. I think that's bullshit. I think they're just fucking running the numbers up for the sake of running the numbers up. Otherwise, if it was really that bad, you'd see everyone, Nintendo, Microsoft, all of it would be going up. Shit, consumer PC parts are going down. Like, this shit's getting cheaper. So, odd that they're increasing it, but all the same, having this, you know, didn't help their narrative, but all the same, uh, it's there. And you can save a few dollars on energy if you're in, like, the UK, where you turn on a light bulb right now, and you've got to remortgage your home. So, uh, if you're into that, congratulations. Save a few dollars. Make it happen. Uh, two Brits, it is kind of crazy over there, their energy is insane right now, like the Brits would tell me, it's like everyone's just, just like, getting fucked by energy over there right now, the cost of electricity is nuts, like the, I can't remember what the percentage oh, it was. it can't be any worse than us, we got the worst, we got like the worst of the entire country. Oh, well, we're, we're, we're getting reamed, we're we're NS, pa NS level, Power, bro. NS we're Power was like, level. hey, remember that, like, remember we talked about like that price hike over the next couple of years? All right, well, that's still happening, but it's going to be more than we originally planned. Dude, we're getting fucked. I don't want to hear anybody complain about power. <laughs> they haven't lived here in Nova Scotia. They don't know what the fuck. Uh, shit's a little rough. It's just a little, a little, a little rough. A little. But hey, what ha this is what happens when your government sells your shit to a private fucking organization when it's a utility. Yep. Get fucked. Like, look at the difference between, like, Halifax Water... And then hell and Nova Scotia Power. <laughs> One's a not for profit, and the other is a for profit U.S. owned fucking company. Yeah, wow, fuck. shock, shocker that the uh, the prices might be consistently continually going up while the CEO compensation continues to rise as well. Oh,